Good morning, everybody. Ivy with Ivy B Creates. I hope everybody had a good night's sleep because I ain't been asleep yet. Okay, it's Whip Wednesday at um, 6.03 this morning. It's 73 degrees outside and it's mostly clear. We're supposed to get some thunderstorms later. So I'm going to get this video out as soon as I can edit it and put it out. All right. We know what Whip Wednesday is, is everybody shows what's on their hook and what they're going to try to get completed by Friday. I've had projects that's been on my hook for a couple of weeks now. My wrist has been hurting pretty bad. It's down here in the elbow part. I mean, the uh, metacarpal is down here, so I think it's carpal tunnel. But I'm going to keep it rested, but I'm still working. When it starts hurting, I stop. So I'm going to show you some whips that I've been working on slowly. So the very first one is, and I'm probably not going to say the name correct, but I will spell it out. All the um, things that I'm doing will be in the description box below. So. So this is, and I'm going to, Montastria, I think it's called. Yes. It is by um, Expression Fiber Arts. It was a free pattern. And this is a Hobby Lobby uh, one weight, uh, lace weight, probably lace weight. Anyway, I really like it. The worst thing about this top is doing a single crochet with black thread. It's fine when I get into the colors here, but this black doing a single crochet with lace weight, it's like you didn't do a row at all. So I've, I've probably got about another four inches to finish on this one, and I'll be very happy get this one off. I just wish that my wrist would um, do better. So that's one that I need to get off and be done with. My second one is the Mosaic Mermaid Scales. I am doing, it's a bag. This is what it looks like. Yes. It's got a round bottom on it, a oval base bottom. And I am using, um, I love this yarn with the sparkles in it. And a mandala cake, and I cannot tell you what color, I mean, what the name was. Serene, I think, maybe it was. It's the purple one. Which I thought the whole thing would be, I didn't realize that the gray had more than most of this purple here, but... I decided to go up a little bit more into the purple so I'm about to get that done I will put like a rope two ropes on it for doing the the uh, um, shoulders I'm very happy with it it's turning out pretty good I think so and that is by um, crochet uh, hook and magic I really like to get that one done too so the next one and I don't know what I got got into me about making purses I have no idea but anyway so this one is called the flamingo mosaic It's by Sixil designs I had bought this pattern a long time ago and wanted to get do this um, I'm really, uh, <laughs> I haven't gotten any further. There's a lot of special stitches up here in the top, the same way it was for the flamingos down here on their legs. So just about every stitch I have to go back and check to see if I'm doing it correctly. But the yarn is um, Happy, the Mandela Happy, which that makes me happy too. Yes, I do like that. So, get that done. Now, 
what I want to start working on, and I wish my wrist would start healing a lot faster because there's something I really want to work on. It's called the Diana Dress. It's a free pattern on YouTube. It's by Crochet Realm, and I will link it in the description box too. The only thing I have to do is figure out if I want to do it in a number 10 cotton thread or use a number 5 uh, acrylic thread. And I'm going to show you what the acrylic thread looks like when it's forked up. And like I said, I don't know what is going on with me with making these bags, but this is what a um, acrylic thread looks like worked up. This is um, the yellow in the Artiste from Hobby Lobby. It's very light, drapey, flowy, just the way I like a lot of my uh, works. So I'm going to start that and I'm going to do a um, I mean if you took a look at the dress you'll say oh my god that's gorgeous and it's beautiful so she does it in parts and I think that's going to be great and I will do an update on that every Wednesday to show you where I'm at in it so I probably as soon as this wrist holds up I will be doing that so other than that I also do beadwork and I am going to insert some pictures here and show you some of the beadwork. If anybody's interested in the beadwork earrings, please email me or you can go to uh, Kofi and look through the gallery and see if there's anything in there that you like to. I really enjoy doing both of this stuff, but right at the moment I can't crochet that much, so I'm doing some beadwork. So, Thank you everyone for following me and the new subscribers. Welcome aboard. I hope you have, I hope that I can entertain you with stuff that I do and maybe um, be interested in doing some of the stuff that I do. I want my channel to be something that you can look at and learn from. And with that said, I can't wait to see everybody else's Wick Wednesday stuff. So, have a good day, and thank you very much. Bye.